Hello everybody, this is John, the head of global business development here at tilelook.com. And today we're gonna to show you how to make a sloped ceiling. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the back wall, okay? Now we're gonna select 3D surface. Now when this menu pops up, the, the field we're gonna edit is the first one. Elevation from wall, Z-axis, okay? So we're going to make this number here the same number as the length of this wall here, which in this project is 300 centimeters. So we're going to make it 300 centimeters, hit apply, and now this 3D object is created, okay? It looks like a bench. We're going to take that, we're going to click the object, we're going to select all the points by dragging and dropping like that and selecting it. We're going to bring it up to the top corner. It's going to snap into place and then we're going to take it and extend it the length of the ceiling. Okay? It snaps into place. And then when you want to deselect all the points, when they're and then the corners are all green, that means they're all selected. So we're going to need to deselect that. So we're going to click this line here of the project, go back, and then we're going to take one corner. Let's pick this corner here, hit the red dot. We're going to click remove. We're going to remove this corner. Do you want to remove the select element? Yes. And there we go. There's our slope ceiling. Now we could adjust it even further if we'd like. You select it again, the object, and you could take this point here and adjust it. So let's make the slope ceiling like that. Okay? And that's it. It's, it takes a couple steps, but it's really that simple. Okay? And now if we go a step further, let's say you want to add a skylight to this slope ceiling. What we do now is, let's adjust our view. We go to add model and we'll pick one from the 3D warehouse. We go into the 3D warehouse where we have, have access to millions of different objects. And type window and we'll pick any window here. So let's pick this little one. Download that into our project. There it is. We drag and drop it in. Okay. And there we go. But see, now we have to align it to the slope ceiling. So it's already selected. What we're going to do is we're going to select the Align Object Rotation to Walls button. Click that. And then we click the slope ceiling. And there we go. And now we could adjust it any way we see fit. And then it snaps to the ceiling. Maybe we'll bring it down just a little bit. Okay. But now, since this object isn't attached to the actual wall like in the, like you would create in the beginning of a project where you just select a window or a door or a hole, and it, you know it's automatically transparent. This isn't, so we're gonna have to go another step further if you'd like to add lighting to come through this. So when we go to render, we have to select the actual window itself, that material. We'll click Edit Material. Then we're gonna go to Emission. We're gonna enable it. And you have options to adjust it even further with uh, wattage, power, and, and other options as well. But we're just going to keep it as default for now. Okay? Hit apply. And there you go. That's it. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out like always. And thank you for watching.